This is the ACT% percent benchmark question about um, the poll of registered voters. So let's go ahead and solve this. The question says, a poll of 200 registered voters was taken before the election for mayor of Springdale. All 200 voters indicated which one of the four candidates they would vote for. The results of the poll are given in the table below. And then we have the candidates over on this side, and we have the number of voters for each candidate over on this side. The question is asking, what percent of the voters polled chose Whitney in the poll? So we have some important information here. We first have the um, candidate, so we want which ones chose Whitney. So this one right here. Um, and we need to figure out what percent of them uh, chose Whitney. So if we visualize this, let's say that this is all 200 voters, and we know that it's 200 because it tells us all 200 voters. Um, so we're going to label that 200 total. And then the candidates are kind of broken down into their own sections. So we have 50, we have 80, 40, and 30. Um, 80 is close to 100, which would be a, um, exactly half of 200. So if we go a little bit lower, let's say that's 80 voters. And that would be for uh, this one, Lou. And then we have 50 voters for Black Cloud. Um, that's probably going to be around here or so. 50 voters. And then we have um, the 40 for Gomez and 30 for Whitney. So we can do 40. We'll say that's 40 for Gomez. And then our last section, 30 voters for Whitney. So if we have our 200 total around the outside here, and we know that's 100%, 100% is the total, we know that Whitney's voters, this one right here, has to be a pretty small percent. It wouldn't be 50%. 50% would be exactly half right here. Um, so it's got to be a lot less than 50%. My guess would be somewhere around 20%, 15%, somewhere around there. So let's go ahead and set up the math equation to, um, to see if we are close, and then we can get the exact answer. So to find a percent, we know that we're going to take the part divided by the whole. I'm going to write down part divided by whole. And in this case, my part would be the percent or the number of voters that chose Whitney. Um, so we saw in our little table here that was 30. That's going to be my part. I'm going to divide that by the whole number of voters. And we saw up here that's going to be all 200 voters. 30 divided by 200. Now that might look kind of funny because we have a smaller number on this side divided by a larger number. That is correct. So when you punch it into your calculator, make sure to type um, 300 div or sorry, 30 divided by 200. So 30 divided by 200 on my calculator is 0 0.15. And if we convert that into a percentage, we're going to take these two digits right here. So that would be 15% of voters. Now, if we look back at our chart right here, let's see if that makes sense. We estimated that it wouldn't be 50% because 50% would be exactly half, and Whitney, the candidate, has much smaller. We estimated a little less than 20%. 15% makes sense. So A is your correct answer choice. Here's your question that you're going to try on your own. A poll of, 10th grade, of the 10th grade class at Equipo Academy was taken recently. All 75 of the 10th graders indicated which food served in the cafeteria was their favorite. The results of the poll are in the table below. Then we have the food and the number of votes that each received. Which percentage of 10th graders, um, oh, sorry, what percent of 10th grade students chose pasta with meat sauce? So go ahead and find this space on your paper and then go ahead and solve the problem. Before you do that though, we forgot to check off. This is the poll question, so make a little check mark in that box of your um, of your answer sheet. So go ahead and pause the video right now, and then when you come back, I will give you the correct answer here. All right, your correct answer is B, 20%. So check your work, see if that's what you have. If that's not what you have, make sure to rewatch the video or check your math.